Well, the preseason chatter is about to end right now. Because even though I know we've already had a few college football playoff games from late August, nothing that really held our interest. But that will change this upcoming weekend as the rest of the college football world will begin play starting Thursday, August 31st, going all the way into Labor Day weekend. Talking about my 2017 college football playoff preview show. Now, this is the show where I will first, you know, break down the five major conferences, okay, in terms of who I think will win those conference championship games. I'm about the Big 12, Big 10, SEC, ACC, and Pac-12 conferences. And in addition, what we'll do is I will tell you the four teams who I think will be a part of that college football playoff, who I think will meet in the championship game, and who I think will win the whole thing at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, site of the national championship game. The Big 12 championship game, it's back. We haven't seen it since 2010, but this is the first time since the league went to the 10-team format that we've seen the Big 12 title game to be played in Arlington, Texas at Jerry's World. And, you know, personally, I wish Oklahoma would get out of the Big 12. Um, I'm tired of the league. It is no question the weakest of the five major conferences. I would, you know, personally like to see the Sooners go to the Big 10 or the SEC, either way, you know, I don't give a damn. Um, I'm, I'm just sick of the Big 12. It is a, you know, somewhat dysfunctional conference, um, a conference that, you know, the quality of play just, just isn't there. And to, to me, if a Big 12 team is going to get to the four-team playoff, um, they're going to have to go undefeated, or if there is one loss on the schedule, um, it has to be in league play. It can't be to one of the elites outside of the conference. For example, if Oklahoma – went 11 and one that one loss could not be against Ohio State or if Texas let's say turned things around this year and they made it to 11 and one um, their one loss could not be against Southern Cal so the only way a big 12 team in my opinion gets to the championship game is by going undefeated or if their uh, one loss did not occur to an elite non-conference school and considering that most of the big 12 does not play elite non-conference competition uh, there's your answer. And I don't think a Big 12 team is getting to the college football playoff this year. And if that happens, not a shock because, you know, through the past four years, if you count this year, which I think will be inevitable, that the Big 12 has been left out of the college football playoff party. I've got Bedlam, part two. Oklahoma State, Oklahoma to meet in Arlington for all the Big 12 marbles. Um, if you've seen my college Previews, thank you first. But secondly, you know that I picked Oklahoma State to beat Oklahoma in round one, which is in Stillwater early November. I cannot see Oklahoma State, though, beating Oklahoma twice, especially with the rematch being at a neutral site. And I think Oklahoma, with Baker Mayfield, I think he will make history and become the first Sooner starting quarterback to win three straight Big 12 titles. I think um, Oklahoma State's defense will get big time exposed in the rematch. and They might have trouble the first time, but I think OSU's offense will win in the first matchup. I think OU will have the better offense the second time around. And I look for Lincoln Riley in year number one to win the Big 12 championship. I've got OU beating Oklahoma State in the Big 12 title game. And OU to finish 11-2 and in the regular season, but it won't be enough to get to the college football playoff. They'll have to settle for New Year's uh, Bowl 6 game. They won't meet during the regular season, but they will December 1st at Santa Clara for the Pac-12 Championship, Southern Cal and Washington. Now, when you talk about the Trojans and Huskies, it's so easy to think about the quarterback matchups. But in this case, rather than Sam Darnold of Southern Cal or Jake Browning of Washington garnering the attention, it should be the defenses because that's what it's going to come down to. I mean, after all, defense wins championships. And to me, this is the big difference maker. I think Washington's defense will be a little bit too much in this one. I look for them to control the game. I look for Washington in a low-scoring game to overtake Southern Cal and to win another Pac-12 championship and once again be the number four seed in the college football playoff. Well, some would say not the SEC, but the ACC is the best conference of college football. It's certainly uh, debatable. You have Florida State and Miami, who are about to play, you know, in just a few days, one of the early season college football highlight matchups of the season. I think they'll also play in the ACC championship December 2nd in Charlotte. And 
Two things that will stick out to me as far as this game that I think will be the difference maker. Number one, DeAndre Francois, he's got more experience at quarterback compared to Miami's new gun. I think that's one thing. I think number two, though, Florida State would have been more proven in terms of the schedule. They play a tougher schedule. They open up with Alabama, which win or lose really benefits Florida State as far as the competition. Speaking of competition, the Seminoles also will play Florida at the end of the year with their good defense, and there will also be matchups with Clemson as well as Louisville. Now, Miami, they'll play any of those four teams that I just mentioned. So I think Florida State would have been more battle-tested entering this ACC championship game. I think it'll be a good game, but I got Florida State winning probably by about 10 points, and I have the Seminoles getting to the college football playoff as a three seed. Well, I've got Wisconsin and Ohio State meeting for the Big Ten championship game in Indy. I remember three years ago, Ohio State absolutely walloped Wisconsin 58 nothing. but that was three years ago. I'm not expecting anything like that this year in terms of the margin of victory. But the one thing I do want to know about Wisconsin when they face Ohio State, how are they going to be able to move the ball effectively? Because Ohio State, their front seven is one of the best, if not the best, in college football. And remember, as much success as the Badgers have had in recent years, last season, you know, it wasn't largely because of their offense. It was because of their defense. So the offense is going to have to come up with big plays against the Ohio State defense. I just don't see that happening. And although I think Wisconsin's D will play well in this game, I think the fourth quarter will belong to the Buckeyes. Ohio State, I think, wins by two touchdowns and will go to the college football playoff as a number two seed. I think unlike the last two years in which Bama was able to name their score in the title game against Florida, this SEC championship game will be a lot more competitive. Georgia has got plenty of talent, especially on the defensive side. And by the way, this will be Kirby Sparks' first meeting against his former team, Alabama. That's right, against his former boss in Nick Saban. Again, I think this will be a very physical game. Again, I think Georgia will give Alabama all they want. But Bama is the more proven team. They've won title games. I think the experience does count to a certain extent. I think in terms of quality, Georgia is built for the present. In terms of winning championships, though, I think they're built for the future. In terms of championships, though, on the Bama side, uh, they're present and future built. So I think Bama wins by a touchdown and will be the number one seed and be undefeated entering the college football playoff. So let's break down my first semifinal I've got projected. The Rose Bowl, number two, Ohio State, number three, Florida State. Now, these teams were in the first ever college football playoff three years ago, but didn't play each other. Of course, Ohio State won the whole thing that season. Um, the big thing about this matchup between the Buckeyes and Seminoles will be Florida State trying to protect DeAndre Francois. They did not do a good job of that last year. Had they gotten better as far as pass protection? Because tell you, amongst other things, the one thing Ohio State will specialize in more than anything else is defensive line play. they got one of the best defensive lines in the country, if not the best, so they specialize in getting into the backfield. It could be a long day for DeAndre Francois. I've got Ohio State in a nail-biter over Florida State, and I've got the Buckeyes playing in the national championship game. Now, the other semifinal matchup, Alabama will get to play in the Sugar Bowl because if you're the number one seed, you get to play at the closest venue of the two, and obviously... Alabama is closer to Louisiana than California. So you've got Alabama against Washington. That's right, a rematch. I think it's going to go about the same way. There's no reason for me to believe that Washington is going to win this game, although I don't think there's going to be very many points scored. Jake Browning might enter this game a little bit healthier than last year because he had some shoulder problems. But the big thing is Washington's going to have to come up with some offensive firepower against Alabama. Otherwise, I don't see Washington controlling the matchup. And the one way you beat the Crimson Tide is with an explosive offense. And I don't think it's going to be explosive on this day against Alabama. So I've got the Crimson Tide by two touchdowns, once again beating Washington. So we've reached my national championship game prediction. we got Alabama and Ohio State to play in Atlanta. The one way you beat Alabama, you can't beat them in a low-scoring matchup. It's got to be a high-scoring showdown. You better have... A terrific quarterback at the same time, like last year with Deshaun Watson of Clemson. That's one way you can dethrone the mighty Alabama Crimson Tide. It's going to be a great coaching matchup as well. And if there's one coach, even though he's lost to Nick Saban in the past that can beat him, is Urban Meyer, who's had some victories against Nick Saban in the past. The two best coaches in all of college football these days meeting for the national title. 
Alabama is going to win every regular season game, in my opinion, and they're going to win the SEC championship game and win the college football playoff semifinal. But the championship game, I think the one difference maker for Ohio State, one thing they didn't have last year, is Kevin Wilson. A terrific offensive coordinator, and in this case, one that can put up some big numbers for the team he's coaching, can make all the difference in the world. So I think Kevin Wilson will be a big difference maker this year for Ohio State, who will lose a regular season game. But when it matters the most, I think in the national championship game, they edge out the Crimson Tide. So I'm going to say Ohio State in an upset to beat Alabama for the national championship. And for Urban Meyer, it will be national championship number four. And I can already hear Alabama fans saying, you don't know what you're talking about. You're an idiot. Shut up. Well, it's just my opinion. It's not the gospel. So please uh, get over it if you're cursing at me in 50 different languages right now. I will do at least a couple more videos. I've got one request that um, I still need to fulfill. I'll have it by the end of the week. Um, if you did not get your request in, um, we've literally run out of time because the season's about to start. So if you didn't get your request in in time, um, there's always uh, next year. But, again, I'm going to have um, at least a couple of more team videos before uh, we officially kick off the season this Saturday with most of the games. I know there's a few Thursday and Friday night games as well. Um, and don't forget my weekly matchup show, OU Sooner fans. I'll have a little pregame of OU versus uh, UTEP. And, of course, that game Saturday afternoon. I'll have the postgame afterwards. And I will have a national weekly segment. It is going to be a prediction show. Um, you'll see that on this very channel. So please check that out. Thanks for watching my college football playoff preview show. We will see you next time.